but I wanted to address a couple of issues. I hear a, a, a tremendous split on this board as to whether if this is a time to move forward on this. Um, and uh, this is kind of an example of the, what's happened with this whole process. It's been divisive. There's been a huge split in terms of the people uh, basically up front here who have, are, are uh, pushing this very hard and people who have some concerns about it and want to hear those concerns met. Uh, the process has been deeply flawed. I've said this before. Uh, a, a good example is the survey, which has been mentioned several times tonight. It's hard for me to imagine that, um, that you folks could take seriously the results of that survey. As I pointed out to the city commission last night, a letter went out to the ratepayers, and I'm a ratepayer. I, do, I did uh, receive that letter. Um, a few days before the survey uh, actually was conducted uh, of the same ratepayer. And um, the letter was extremely biased. It basically posed the biomass plan as being lowest cost, environmentally health, uh, sensitive, um, the best deal for Traverse City, and all, all alternatives as being uh, higher in cost and basically devastating to the economy. Of, uh, of this region. It was a, a terribly biased letter. Um, the survey, predictably, came out with a two to one preference by its ratepayers uh, of biomass. But it was, uh, I do surveys in my work. The survey was a fraud. And, I, and I, I, I can't imagine that you could even continue to quote that survey. This is an example of the kind of information that you folks on the board have been getting um, from the proponents of this biomass plan. Um, I thank you, Ralph. I thank you, Jim. Jim, I hope you start sleeping uh, better because you've done a great job of representing the, uh, the community on this issue. Um, I, I, I can't imagine why you would not slow down and give this a couple more months. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm a representative of one of the stakeholders uh, who would be uh, asking to come to the table and have a dialogue with you. We wouldn't be willing to do that if it was just more of the same that you, uh, that you put forward over the last uh, several months. Ed Rice um, and, um, and the uh, your, uh, deputy uh, came and met with us, with uh, our group, NIMIAC, met with the, N the NIMIAC board, very good conversation. Unfortunately, that same meeting, while he was assuring us that no decision had been made, the letter went out to the ratepayers saying basically the decision has been made. So I really have no interest in sitting down and having Thank that you. same kind of a dialogue. Uh, but I would really support a, a, tr a, a really um, legitimate um, conversation that has some integrity. Thank you. Thank you.